Hello everyone, this is Tom with Stock Navigators and this is midweek update for the week of March 10, 2021. First of all, let's take a look on the SBY. It is a spider SB500 as you can see here. The, uh, the market is trying to work out the downtrend line here. So the momentum is to continue to put to the upside. So right now, today, when the market closed, they give it a doji. So they stay above the uh, resistance line now become a support. Let's say tomorrow they'll be able to hold up the momentum and continue to work out the old time high here in order to uh, confirm the neck leg up. Okay, so uh, that's one of them. The second one is the Russell 2000. It also be able to work out the downtrend line here. They still get stuck at the old time high here. So we need to clear that area for confirmation and not a, a move to the upside. Uh, the next one here is the Dow. The Dow zone is very strong as you can see here. So they'll be able to punch to the, uh, the pivot high here. So now it's like we come with strong support there and the momentum is very strong. So a lot of stock uh, in this uh, in Dow component, they're doing very well. So today I will uh, pick three of the, the strong Dow stock to buy and then I will analyze that so you can see how that look like. Okay, and then now let's take a look on the uh, oil. Oil is still in the uptrend. Uh, they go up, they pull back down. The momentum is still in the upside. Uh, Bitcoin, it, they uh, try to push back up and now they try to clear the uh, uh, all time high here. Okay, so if they be able to punch through it, they will continue to make a new high. Okay, they try to test the previous high right here. It's a critical resistance level for them right now. And uh, if you look at the goal also, uh, try to push it back up, but they still have a lot of work, okay, to push it up to the upside. And uh, the, uh, the dollar, US dollar, is able to make a new high right now. So the resistance here now becomes a support. So you can see that some uh, changing in the uh, US dollar right now. They try to put it to the upside. And so now let's take a look at uh, on the Dow component. I will pick up three stocks today and then I will analyze that so you can see how they look like. So the first of them is the Honeywell. So you know that Honeywell is one of the very strong stocks in the um, uh, Dow. Okay, since December last year they pulled back down and now they'll be able to stabilize and put it back up. If they, now they try to break out a Dow trend right here to the momentum pick up to the upside. So it means that they will have more uh, potential to uh, continue to the upside. And the next one is the uh, IBM. So IBM here, as you can see here, IBM is uh, uh, also uh, uh, slammed down since the beginning of the year. And then they're able to stabilize. And now they try to build the base here. Now they get out of the base, they come back, they retest. And then they continue to uh, put it to the uh, upside again. Uh, the next one is the uh, McDonald. McDonald, as you can see here, the McDonald have been running up uh, very fast until uh, the end of November, and then they slam it down. So now they uh, able to file the support at this level here, which is the pivot uh, uh, resistance. Now become a strong support, and they make a very nice uh, flat pattern here. The flat pattern here. If they be able to get out of this area here, it back to the two two hundred sixteen, that will be a new trend chain for the McDonald also. Okay, so that's the uh, a, a couple of stocks that I just want to show you how we are using technical analysis to analyze those stocks so that you know where they're going to turn around so you can uh, take a trade. This is what we're doing every day in our live trading room with our member, so we can select a lot of good stock and then uh, we trade. Uh, the swing day as well as uh, uh, we pay the ES future uh, every day to make some short term income also. And if you uh, would like to learn how to read the chart, how to understand the financial market by using a modern technical analysis and crowd psychology, you can uh, check out our website at stocknavigators.com for more information. And if you're busy, you don't have time, uh, you can. You can sign up with our premium Wall Street watch list in there every week. Uh, I, I will analyze about four or five stocks so that we can give the, uh, uh, the entry, stop lot, and the target so that you'll be able to follow to see how they lay out during the week. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.
And don't forget to give me a thumb up and we'll see you on another weekend. Take care, everyone.